All right. Hello, everybody. We're back with more Fallout New Vegas. Sorry I'm a little late. I kind of slept in a bit too long. Uh, I entirely forget what quest we're trying to go on. Wrong button. Always wrong button. Sierra Madre grand opening, okay. Who's shooting? I think that happened last time too. What is this? The best of everything, all in one place. The Ultra Lux. The rebirth of luxury. Huh. What? Who? Oh, hey! Nice. <clears throat> Not really anything I need. I wonder if regular monster enemies drop money at all. I know they sometimes do in Skyrim. Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I forgot about them. I nearly forgot about them. Can I hide in here? I don't know. <clears throat> well, it'd be nice if I could get up here. Yeah, whatever. Nah, I can't really hide in here, I don't think. What do I have that would be strong? Uh, new safe, new safe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do I only have one? <clears throat> okay. Hey, asshole. Come here! Fucking come here! What? Oh no. It didn't go off. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> the fucking thing didn't go off!
How do I... Do I not have... I don't have a... <clears throat> Damn it. I, why don't I have... Okay, I can't use the C4. Okay, I need to shoot at him. That was a little too close. Come on, come at me. Nah! I couldn't- uh, I couldn't open up my thing. God fucking damn it. Oh, now you want to open. Fuck you. How about just fire bombs? Is that supposed to be a cloth? Yeah. Wow, that was. I'm gonna sell those. I'm 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 gonna sell those whenever I can. Thousand dollars for that piece of shit. Oh, cool, I didn't even have ammo for it. <clears throat> Great. I don't even have a sniper rifle, do I? I just want to kill one of these death claws. That's all I want to do. Lasers. Oh, there's three of them! Ah! You know what? Never mind. Fuck it. Just let them be. <clears throat> Never mind. Just... Just let them be. Fuck it. I don't... I don't really have a way to deal with them, so... Fuck them. Shit. SHIT! SHIT! There's so many more! There's, there's a lot of death claws in this area. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. There's a lot of fucking death claws. They are all over the place. <clears throat> Could try and just get on a rock. Aha! I have the high ground pieces of shit! This isn't gonna work, but still. Oh, jeez. Where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? What? Yeah, come here, you fuck. What the fuck? Whew. 
Where'd he go? There he is. No. 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 <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, they really, they don't like it. They don't like that they can't get to me. Huh. Well, they went off that way. I'll just go this way. I guess. Well, no, it's not abusing bad AI. It's called getting the high ground where they can't actually jump. I wanted to kill one of them, so I just wanted to, like, be somewhere where they couldn't reach me. I didn't realize I would just run away. <laughs> I mean, there's five of them there, so it's not really like I could win. Repcon headquarters. You're saying they're physically able to break the stone? That's not what the game says. <laughs> the moment I get on that stone, they just run away. <clears throat> okay. And doesn't say that they can't jump either. Well, at least in my experience, so far, they haven't been able to jump. Uh, I don't need that. Repcon Tours. Welcome to Repcon Headquarters, Rocketeer. Come on. I mean, I died five times trying to kill just one of them. I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. Uh, what can you tell me about I can Repcon? Answer whatever questions you'd like, <clears throat> provided your query is limited to Repcon history, research and development, or Robco. Tell me about Robco. Robco Industries purchased Repcon in 2075 to assist with some of Robco's military projects, as well as developing unmanned space exploration. The relationship between Robco and Repcon is mutually beneficial, and we hope that both companies bolster each other well into the next century. All right, I'll see you later, Capsize. Very well. Feel free to ask Thanks, me dude. more about Repcon at any time. Don't be shy. The tour showcases Repcon's amazing scientific contributions, and the promise of many more. Coupled with its parent company, Robco. Uh, I'd like to go to the museum. Excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. <clears throat> Hello. Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. Ready for the Repcon tour? Okay. Um. I'm, g I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. What time is it? Do I have a time? It's 6.24. Can 
Can I just sleep? Like four hours? Or wait, I guess. Hello there. It's good to Oh hello! <laughs> Almost took you for a raider right there. Where the fuck did you come from? Welcome home. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Why are you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You, didn't you just got what on your YouTube recommendations? You didn't know what you'd do I not have links enabled? Give me a sec. I thought I had links enabled. Because all I'm seeing is stars. And I don't seem to even see... Hmm... Do I... What the hell? Hopefully you did just pre type in stars and not some a link. I don't know. Uh, what's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that. So it is a link. Okay, so uh, for some reason I can't see it, and I can't seem to find like a setting where. Let me actually go to Twitch. <laughs> I could have swore I had British pronunciation of the word cock. <laughs> yeah, stream manager. I don't know why I don't have links. I have no fucking clue and I don't know where to I don't know where to change that. I'll change I'll probably change that after the stream. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll I'll have to change that after the stream, I guess, because I can't find where it's supposed to be. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened. Uh, see you later, Capsize. You think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places. Blue star caps, no exception. Mention someone named Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old. But I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. You collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Uh, what kind of treasure are we talking no about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Thanks for the info. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, Watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for this stars already. Thanks, random dude who came up to me. <clears throat> Anyways, about that tour. How may I serve you, master? Look here. A row of musty colored plasma cubes. 
Hold up, Rocketeers. What's this? The Tree of Cylinders isn't a tree of cylinders at all. They're containers holding what some call... Some scientists call plasma. Can you say plasma? Repcon's always looking to the future. And in our future, we don't have to worry about radiation, health risks, or lawsuits. When using this new and improved fuel source to blast our rockets into the... Into and out of the sky. Clarification. Cylinders and plasma are factually correct designations to display atoms, both by definition and by the scientific community. Cool. Boring old rod, or... What's this? A dull rod? Not so, Rocketeers. This dull rod once powered Repcon's old nuclear propelled rockets and still contains harmless traces of radioactive material. As an exercise, stare closely at the rod and try to spot the telltale glow. While this case is lead line, standard in these cases, not specifically requested for this display, do not touch, look, or stand too close to this exhibit. Keep your legs moving and see the rest of the museum. And somebody stole it, too. Oh, there's caps. Borkip. Mm, Borkip. And Borkip. I think I actually took plate. I just took plate, didn't I? We've all heard stories that radiation is dangerous. Fact or fiction? A common sight in factories, military installations, and the basements of selected government-funded middle schools. These safety barrels are just what the name implies. Safe. While their attractive coloring can be interpreted as a warning, for Repcon, it's an innovation to a future... It's an invitation to a future filled with nuclear power. Rhetorical questions and nomenclature of exhibit items cannot be used as basis for criminal prosecution. Didn't mean to press that again. Why, look here, a pile of itty-bitty safety barrels all nestled together like a family sitting down to dinner. Now, while it's claimed even the safest... Now, while it's claimed even the safest nuclear waste disposal procedures seep poison into the environment that never ever goes away, in Repcon's case, we say it all depends on where you put them. And Nevada's just the place. Nomenclature for hazardous waste barrels as per Repcon gloss respects. <clears throat> I... what is this? Force your parents a short drive south and you'll see the retractable dome of Repcon's launch facility. Not actual size. You may have heard wild stories about rocket flights and their impact on nearby towns and communities, but Repcon feels you can't put a price of space or, of space exploration. After all, Rocketeers, you do want to go into space someday, don't you? Statement is figurative and admissible as, and inadmissible as evidence in a court of law. That definitely is supposed to say something, but I can't read it. The Green Beam. Officially called the Z43521P by silly engineers, we prefer to call this little scrapper by its true nickname the Green Beam. After all, which would you prefer in your backyard garden? A smoldering Z43-521P or a green bean? One sounds like it belongs if mentioned on the news and make news it did. Featuring Repcon's plasma engine, it was so newsworthy that we just had to take the quantum matter modulation unit out and see if we could use it for non-explosive uses. Rocket nickname chosen after results of first trial landing. I really don't care what he's saying. V29321G may look like a big, fat, red rocket, Rocketeers, but old fatty here ran circles around the Earth not so long ago. So let's see you keep up. Sure, V29321G's re-entry gave it its more commonly known nickname, the Big Fat Fiery Fred, but here at Redcom we chose to focus on the successes and apply what we learned about explosive resistance shielding to future mo... mo blah, 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 to future models, and even our landing platforms. The newly reconstructed Repcon launch facility was a direct beneficiary of this discovery. Not 
The Needle Nose. This sleek and purple R77293A Needle Nose is what happens when you mix fossil and plasma in a rocket and shake it up. The fossil fuels punch this sharp nose terror through the sky, and the plasma is used to shoot it through space to planets where Repcon can mine more fossil fuels. Continuing the whole cycle again! Interplanetary mourning and resource rights still in negotiation. We are using the Sundown rockets screaming <laughs> into orbit. Oh, there it is. Rockets away! Just like the rocket you see here, we're aimed at the sky, but we've got a ceiling in the way. See, Rocketeers, while Repcon is was focused on non-radioactive propulsion engines. We still need to sneak back and still need to sneak back. We still need to sneak back and use some of our older proven techniques with nuclear driven engines to make space travel a reality. Partnered with our new buddy Robco, we've dug up older, cheaper technology for upcoming orbital projects. No worries even if you can't always see what we're up to up there. We can see you. Any implication of radioactive material is negative, is unintentional, and in no way reflects Robco or its subsidiary Redcon. Jesus, there's a lot. Woo! Don't do that. Whoa, watch your step. You don't want to be facing this fearsome fellow if you accidentally stumble into a restricted area. Whether sporting the latest in dual miniguns, rockets, or laser cannons, a sentry bot not only takes its job seriously, it also takes no prisoners. It's proof of Robco's commitment to defense that these deadly guards are concealed in chambers throughout this facility. So let this be a warning. Watch where you step or will or out will come, Robco. Guns blazing. Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Robco. Hmm. The I in iBot, of which there is no letter I. Robco has always had an eye for robotics, and this little fellow is no different. This robotic marvel can not only recognize your face and voice with advanced facial and auditory recognition technology, it can also broadcast video and audio as well. Think of it, all the sights and sounds of your radio and TV in your living room, at home blasted directly at you on the street, subway, bathroom, or wherever you may be. Never fear. You'll never miss a news bulletin or presidential address again, no matter where you are. Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Robco. Ah, it's these things. That could kill you. You never can have too many hands. Three, not, why not four? That was Robco's inspiration behind the popular and cost-effective Mr. Handy model. The first of the lines shown here, always a help around the household, whether with mom in the kitchen using its titanium circular power saw, or in the garage with dad using its armor-piercing laser array. Mr. Handy is not just helpful, he's your friend too. Andy, he'll kill you! Brought to you by your friends at Robco. Some folks have asked, why not a Protectron? Protectron, yeah, with wheels! Robco was afraid to answer that question. The Protecto bot is the answer. All one word is the answer. <laughs> While safety standards prevented this freewheeling dynamo from entering mass market production despite Robco's best intentions and teams of lawyers, we take consolation in letting you We take consolation in letting you can see this extremely well funded experiment as it was intended. Jesus Christ. Robot moving so fast it looks like it's standing still. Uh, brought to you by your friends Robco. Hello. Our rich, rich solar system. A model of our solar system, not actual size. Beautiful, isn't it? Robco, with its subsidiary Repcon, has often gazed into the night sky, seeing the rich pageant of stars and planets above us. Our goal? To send unnamed, unmanned rockets to these other systems. Seeing their beauty firsthand while mining even deeper into each planet's surface for precious resources needed here at home. This is our promise to mankind, extending our reach into a future where the number of Robco and Repcon rockets match the stars in the sky. This exhibit brought to you by friends of Robco. This next exhibit showcases the wondrous world of robots. Around here are 
Finito. Oh, do they actually have Pluto? Yeah, it looks like they actually, they might actually have Pluto, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, nope, nope, that's uh, Neptune. You don't do anything. Whoo, I need a drink after all that. Honestly, just shut up, dude. Jenny Millet's security card. Nothing? Boy, am I beat. How may I serve you, Master? Uh, not in here. Please. Don't ever ask if you want to serve me in the bathroom, please. Jesus, five, 18 rads. Uh-huh. Oh, the Rogpo Industries term link. Enter password. Eight correct. I'm pretty sure the F is correct. Uh Or not, I don't think it's the F. E? Oh, I think it's E. Maybe? Like Ed? But then that wouldn't be it. Shit. It couldn't, it couldn't be anything ED. Believes. Fuck! Damn it. I'm just gonna close that just in case. Alright, let's try this again. Releasing. Uh, happening. Nothing there. So what changed? Like everything. So it's n nothing with ING. Aha! Facial data added for first four access. Neat. Uh, 
to all Repcon employees from Piers Isley, General Manager. Hello again, everyone. Those of you in the main building may be curious about the men doing all the work in your offices and hallways. They are installing some enhanced security measures. These measures are in place for your safety, as well as the safety and privacy of your Ripcon family. Along with the hardware and software security changes, each of you will also receive a personal packet with an identification badge. It is very important that you wear your badge at all times. Again, this is for everyone's protection. Oh, and everyone, feel free to take a long weekend as soon as you have received your personal packet. Have a great holiday, Pierce! Hello, everyone. My name is Carl Rook, and I'm sure you can... I didn't see what that just said. Uh, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm your new vice president. Until recently, I was at Robco working in their security division. But now that your family and my family are one big family, we thought it would be nice if they sent an older sibling over. Now I'm going to do as much as I can not to interfere with your daily operations here. My principal concern is going to be security. I hear that you all have been adapting well to some new security procedures. Well, we've got some new kids to join your little family here. You'll see them f some friendly androids patrolling around the main building. As long as everyone remembers to wear their badges at all times and make sure they are properly re registered with security. These friendly androids will stay out of your way. So, so as long as you all keep on as you have been, everything will be just fine. Thanks for your time, Carl. P.S. Please remember that third full access is for executives only. If you need, as if you need assistance from me or peers, feel free to give us a buzz on the phone and we'll send you down the daily password. Thanks. can't really tell what that says. That's not on. These don't do anything for me. Ta-da! Detected. Oh, hello. Valid facial pattern detected. Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> Stim pack. Might as well take the empty syringe, it's nothing. A plasma rifle? Yes, please. Hmm. Plasma pistol. This is the land of lasers, isn't it? Holy shit, they've got missiles. Cabinets have anything in them. Very hard. Hundred. A lockpick skill of a hundred. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank God I have that. I uh, don't need that. I am at 250, Jesus Christ. Security is your duty. That's a fucking creepy poster. I see someone blew through the bathroom. Must have had a rough day. Four tenths left. Nothing. One is correct there. Shit. Couldn't be bare. Can't be rear. Damn it! That was easy too! 
Nikola Tesla and you. What's that? What does that do? A fission battery. How does that weigh six pounds? That does not weigh six pounds. Jeez. Hello. Thought I heard a laser. Metal box. Bottle caps. Bottle caps. And sunset sesperla. Which I shall use right now. Nothing in the tool cabinet. Hmm. This seems to be absolutely cleaned up. Bottle caps. Turbo. I don't know what turbo does. So third floor access would probably kill me. Probably. Most likely. Hello, Mrs. Millis. I hope you have a I I do too. I hope so too. Thank you. Open fridge. Holy shit. Yes. I mean, that's going to destroy my insides, but yes. Uh, and then just a bunch of alcohol. Cram. Uh, what do we got? Don't know what the fuck that happened here. Let me guess. Something happened where somebody didn't bring their stuff. Damn it. God damn it. Aha! Sealant. Two of seven. Sealine? No, it could not be that. Rampage? Uh... It can't be that. There's only one letter that's correct there. At least. Failure. Uh, no. Pillage. Uh -huh. Who's close? Warlike. Seaside, someone, village!
encrypted message. To, from, shh, I've managed to get the password to Isley's, to Isley's computer. I'll forward it to you with the release notes to the Q35. The prototype is going to be stopping here on its way to the Department of Defense. You should be able to inter intercept it on the road. Quantum Plasma Modulation Matter Injection Rifle, version 32, status failure. Notes, while V32 didn't have the power yield of the V31 or V30, we managed to increase the stabilization threshold by approximately 27.35%. This is promising, however, we still have yet to come up with a solution for the matter inversion issues. Uh, 33, failure, lab destroyed, data lost. 34, failure, interesting, I'm not sure where we got this data from. It is completely different direction from what we've been working on. We managed to cycle this matter inversion using a polarized quantum spin. I think that we solved the issue with the compensation field. I have high hopes for the next weapon. 35, success. That data we received from Zuon did the trick. We managed to get a stable build model. I don't think this weapon is ready for mass production yet, but it should show that we have a working prototype. We should be able to get these issues resolved in the later build. As you requested, here are the improvements when compared to a standard plasma rifle. Prototype material is not suitable for extended field use. On average, the Q35 has a higher refire rate, but the time between shots is more consistent. Okay. Increase in active bolt charge time, accurate at longer ranges, and plasma charge has a 30% increase in energy. To Julia Masters, CFO, from Leonard Siebel, Vice President. Julia, I'm sure you've heard by now of Robco's intentions to buy out our company. In the past, you and I have been of like mind when it comes to the moral and financial future of this company. When Poseidon showed interest those years ago, you helped me react rally the board in order to keep Repcon autonomous. I'd like your help again with Robco. Plier, uh, peers, sorry. It's one letter off. Uh, peers claims that Robco is buying shares in the company to force a, ho a hostile takeover if we won't sell willingly. I don't believe that they will be able to pull together enough shares without some approval of the board. I think that you and I will be able to stay to sway enough votes to keep the company safe. I hope you will stand with me for this, Leonard. And she didn't. Or was killed, I don't know. I'd stand with you, Leo. Give me a few days to try and gather some support from my allies on the board. I've run the numbers, I'm pretty sure you're right, we can fight this. To Piers Isley, General Manager from Julia Masters. You're right, Leo sent me a message last night. I've made the call to the board. I think with the numbers we are looking at pocketing from the Robco deal, we will have no trouble getting the board to vote no confidence on him. Oh, that one. That one bad. I'll forward it to you with the release notes to the Q35. So is the password in here? Force to you with release notes of Q35, which is when we stop in here on the Department of Defense, you should be able to intercept down the road. Uh, read that again. Uh, quantum plasma modulation matter injection rifle. Failure. Okay. Uh... I saw I got a note.
just ruin the books. Mucacola. Oh, come on. Hello, flying box. The doctor's bag, ah. Huh? I'm over encumbered. I know, I know, I know. I don't know what turbo is. Have a bunch of fucking wine. Yeah, baby. Dude. Need to stay up here. Uh, I'm definitely gonna. Hello, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush. Shut the fuck up. I, I know. You're terrible at your job. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just save real quick. Before I get absolutely murdered. Use the plasma rifle. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Lux seven. Ice cream. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. That worked. That fucking worked. Wow. Let's crack a safe. I do not need a solid off shotgun. Nothing? Nothing. And anything? Nope, that's just tile. Nope. Nada. Not a goddamn thing. in the oven. A pilot light. And a wasteland omelet. And it's good. Doesn't have any rads or... Wow. Okay. Yes. I mean, personally, I wouldn't eat it, but 
sure if it says it's fine. Uh, whatever. Okay. Cutting board, instant mash. Cool. Honestly, I should not have been able to get up here. Like, the game truly was not supposed to let me up here. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Uh, Thank you, sir. Yeah. Have a nice day. Is that it? There's just nothing. Nothing that I can do. Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have a Hello. Yeah, there's nothing really I can do without science. Well, save. I'm gonna just kill some of these robots. Why the hell not? There's more than just the one. Where the hell are the, are the rest? I have 438 fucking bullets for this thing. Where are y'all? There you are. God, this is good. You know what? I'm just going to go through the entire thing. Ah. He's glitching. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Hey. I was expecting them to go through a door. Ha! God, they're... They're really going at me! Uh, turbo, sure, whatever the fuck that does. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck is turbo? Oh, it broke! Oh, no! Plasma grenade. Okay, wow. Impressive! I'm just tanking him. I'm out. That's a pistol. Die. Die. I don't, I don't know what happened. Third floor access is for exec.
Jesus, just die. Oh, come on. There! Jesus! Wow! There are some tough cookies. I am not taking those missiles. A goo pile! Jesus. Fine, I'll take the missiles. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> Getting a lot of experience. Oh shit, it's still under. Safety warning. I'm gonna shoot my way through this place. Oh, hey, get. Also, your weapon sucks. Valid facial pattern detected. Thanks. Hello. Out of fucking nowhere. Can't go that way. But ow. Ooh, there's a lot more. Oh my god, the ones inside died really quick. What are y'all made out of? Anyways, I made that place real fucking hostile. Uh. I do need to get my weapon repaired now, though. Maybe that place will calm down later. I don't know. I had basically got everything I needed out of it. That was fun. Oh, a butter knife. The Poseidon Energy. Weren't they also wanting to buy the the factory I was just in? I think that's what they were talking about. Oh hey, it's the lunch area. I still need to figure out how to open up uh, New Vegas to me.
Also, I didn't even realize my health was still low. I should have taken Psycho, but... Eh, whatever. What's done and is done. Hello, who are you? Hey there. Prospector. Huh. Doesn't really want to say. Do y'all just live in the in the trains? Followers outpost. It's a lot bigger on the inside in here. What the fuck? Few people have got nothing left. They can always turn to the followers. I have no idea how most of these people would survive without us. The gun runners ought to help the followers by donating some of that firepower they've got. When people have got nothing left, they can always turn to the followers. Uh None of y'all actually talk. None of y'all actually talk. It's just a lot of... All that wealth is wasted on the strip. I mean, you actually have a name, and you, yet you don't even talk. Where the fuck is all this? Where's the places for, like, a bed? What the fuck? It's not like... Yeah, it, Okay. Some Doctor Who bullshit going on there. <laughs> uh, I definitely need to... Do some limbs. There we go. I do kind of wish the map on the compass worked slightly similarly to Skyrim's compass, where it'll show you uh, entry points to uh, different things. Tiny little nitpick, but whatever. What is this? Deserted shack. Howdy. Hello, where the fuck did you come from? Howdy. God, you're just chugging that new Coca Cola. This wouldn't happen to be where I got shot, is it? Okay. There better not be a bunch more fucking death stalkers. Death claws. Why the fuck do I keep calling them death stalkers? Well, what named something a death stalker? Hello, you friendly? 
Ezekiel. More followers. 188 trading post. Ooh. We're just muscle. Alexander's the man to talk to. Thanks for telling me. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? Yeah, uh, get a haircut. Get a better haircut, dude. That's not that's not doing it for you. Like, see what you have Am for I sale. Selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. I figure a guy like you gets his pick of killing gear. You might be onto something. I'd like to hang on to any weapons mods I run across. Take a look. Okay, I need to sell. I need to sell a bunch of shit. Ooh, you got a thousand! Uh, the fire things. What were they called? Fire bombs. And let's see, what else? What else we got? you have a ripper HD chain jar of rifle powder BBs. There's a BB gun? Really? No, no, no. Uh, except. Yes. Another satisfied customer. So you're a gun runner. You have a clue what that even means. Tell me about them. The gun runners have been putting rapid fire death dealing in the hands of anyone who needed to defend himself for over a century. We're the NCR's number one supplier of weapons and ammunition. You might call us an unofficial branch of the army. Uh, what do you do? I'm a salesman. I swing through McCarran and the dam once a week or so to take orders. Lately, I spend most of my time in this piss heap. Ever since the 15 shut down, all caravans come through here, right to me. I check the stock and direct deliveries onward to meet orders. Sure, it stinks to hang out here, but it won't be forever. Plus, I can afford a monthly bender on the strip and still build up my nest egg. Uh, where can I buy some weapons? There's usually a gun merchant hanging around topside. I'm sure she'll take care of you. Mm, I don't like... I'm not going to say that. Uh, tell me about the caravans. Not much to tell. A Brahmin or two loaded up with weapons and a whole mess of well-armed guards to make sure it ends up where it's supposed to. One nifty bit, though. The gun cases are rigged to explode, so trying to loot one of our caravans doesn't do much good. And that's how the NCR stays equipped. The only thing we don't bring in is energy weapons. Why don't you deal energy? We used to, but every caravan carrying them was getting ambushed and wiped out. By someone sophisticated enough to know which was which. But we think it was the Brotherhood of Steel. Those crazies always go hard for energy weapons. The NCR would rather pretend they killed all of them. Need to get going. Bye. Bye. The Forecaster. Hello, child. Hi, mister. I hope you're doing fine today. What the fuck is on your head? I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my own. Okay. What do you got for sale? Oh, I don't sell things, mister. I sell thoughts. You don't sell that junk behind you? That's not junk. That's other people's thoughts. People had to think to make them, and the thoughts got stuck inside. 
I need other people's thoughts to fill my head when I'm not thinking myself. Otherwise, it's kind of empty. I can take off my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. What is your medicine, and how do you take it off? This thing on my head is headache medicine. It works real good, except I can't think when it's on. Really think, I mean. I might be interested in buying your headache medicine. How much? Thinking hurts you, too? Aw, I wish I could let you have the one on my head, but I can't. It hurts real bad when I don't wear it. Great. What do you want me to think about? I can think about you, here, or everywhere. What do you want? Uh... Me. Okay. Let me take off my medicine. Your face does the thinking. Two to the skull. Yet one gets up. Odds are against you. But they're just numbers after the two to one. You're playing the hand you've been dealt, but you don't let it rest. You shuffle and stack, and a gamble. A gamble that may pay off, but how? Forecast, rapidly changing conditions. A lot of thinking, most of it in your face. It's almost shouting at you. Sorry if I said anything weird. How do you know these things? Oh, I don't know anything, mister. I just think it, and then I don't. Here's another hundred, sure. uh, about everywhere. Let me take off my medicine, pull and bear over the dam at each other's throats. But a light from Vegas? Ball spinning on the wheel, more than two at the table, placing bets. All lose in different ways. A dam of corpses, towns of corpses, scattered across the sand. But who's? In what shares? Even the dealer doesn't know. Forecast, a rain of blood will flood the desert and not purify it. Blah. Thinking about everywhere always makes me feel a little sick. Sure, I could do some more thinking. What are you thinking about here? Take off my medicine. Local, local. The here and now. Little of interest. Things to buy. False hopes and regrets watered down. Washed down in dirty glasses. With regret comes a girl, smiling sad, brown robe, named Veronica. Half here, wraps her and her heart up like a pack. In the pack, a key, some say. Forecast, cloudy with a chance of friendship. Ouch. Thinking small only hurts a little, but it's a sharp pain. Goodbye. So long. Also, I think that's going to do it for me. Although, I do want to do one last thing. And hopefully I'm finding the right video here. The video capsize wanted to share with me. I, hopefully. Pronunciation of what in British. Hopefully. There you go. Thanks, Capsize. <laughs> um, but yeah, that about does it for today. And uh, I shall see you... What, what day is it today? Yeah, I shall see you guys Monday. 
I've also I've finally gotten everything up to snuff with the videos after what happened last week. Uh so I should be able to get hopefully everything done by Monday to get uploaded for Tuesday. And I've also got a fuck ton of thumbnails to do as well. Uh, but anyways, until Monday, I shall see you then. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for the, the cock capsize. Anyways, goodbye.